John here guys and today we're talking about the Bang God by Catalyst Machine Works. Are you a god? The latest premium freestyle frame on the market. And this one is a very be a very notable release. It is one of the first premium frames on the market that fully accommodates the DJI system and requires no modification. That's right, there's not a special DJI version. This frame accommodates DJI system or one of your standard analog builds without any problems. Now this is the six inch version that I'm gonna be building up here for the channel. And before we get into all the details on the frame itself, let's talk about the name and the logo for a second. Now, perhaps no other company uh, in FPV other than, say, maybe Armitan or Impulse RC is cloned by the cloners more than the extremely original and outstanding design philosophy folks over at Catalyst Machine Works. I've personally seen uh, the engineering prowess that goes into the design of each and every one of these frames and um, perhaps they are the most accomplished um, folks pushing the design principles on the racing side of things. And just as Chris over at Armitan pushes the freestyle principles of design further, Catalyst Machine Works is doing that on the racing side. And unfortunately, they have had such a large number of their frames cloned. I believe one, of the, one or two of the last few frames had f cloned versions of the frames up for sale before they were even released to market. It is a constant problem. And while I do work with Banggood a lot, they are not without flaw. They are okay for a great number of things. And also remember that Banggood is sort of like the Walmart of FPV. Yes, you can go in there and get some um, notable brand name stuff. Uh, you can get some CL Racing, some T-Motor, some iFlight, some Diatone. Uh, but they also have some of the more sketchier release things. And although we don't talk about that uh, too frequently on this channel, it is a problem. So it's more in relation to a lot of the stuff that Banggood does to try to make those sales uh, by helping fund some of those sketchier folks. Um, but by cloning their own logo, uh, this is basically like checkmate. This is like when, uh, when Prince stole the image of, <laughs> of Chappelle and used it on his own album cover. You make fun of Prince in a sketch and he'll just use you in his album cover. <laughs> Yourself. He, exactly, what am I gonna do? Sue him for using a picture of me dressed up like it was impossible. It's, that, it's that's, genius. That's checkmate right that's there. Check I mean, what are you gonna do? What are they gonna do? Are they already gonna think that they've already made a clone whenever they see this? Uh, I love this. Uh, it's like, do you know what Nemesis is? Do you know what Nemesis means? This is vengeance. This is vindication. And it's just a good bit of fun that the guys over at Catalyst Machine Works absolutely know how to do. So great job, Neil and Rick, on the design of this. Now let's talk about the frame itself. So Catalyst Machine Works' first uh, freestyle frame that I talked about here was the smooth operator. And while the flight feel was inc incredibly smooth, it was not without its difficulties in building it up. And while a lot of us racers don't mind a little bit of build difficulty um, in order to get that amazing flight feel the Catalyst Machine Works frames always offer, uh, some of the folks on the freestyle frame side just want a simpler option. So instead of using the little small uh, carbon spacers, they are now going with these beautifully machined dog bone standoffs. Ooh, look how nice they are. Now this is a couple of things. It still allows you to have your rear arm up on the top, which I may do, I haven't decided it. Um, it also offers a great bit of strength. Look how stiff this is. Uh, they are also using a very similar 
uh, bulkhead design for the front camera holder. The shape is similar, uh, but it's a little bit wider. While that uh, smooth operator was designed for a, a micro camera, this one I believe is designed for a full size camera to be able to accommodate the DJI system, a full size camera. And now that the adapters are plentiful to be able to adapt micro cameras to full size camera slots, uh, this is the decision that they've decided to go to. I actually prefer this to anybody that's using mini camera. Good Lord. If you're going to go big, just go all the way big and people can just use adapters or, or other hardware to make their camera solution fit. Okay, so Catalyst always covers how the best way to build up their frames are. So I'm not going to go over that, but I wanted to go over a couple of differences and unique things on the Bang God. And so here's a lot of the components. First of all, they are using these very interesting custom machine standoffs. Uh, and that is the way that they are making this build a little bit simpler. Um, these are really nice at uh, about 17 mils tall. And uh, check out the arm design. This is very different for Catalyst Machine Works. On um, say the smooth operator, they used like the same type of arm that you would have on a racing frame. But for this one, they've really beefed it up. So you can see it's actually 13 millimeters thick uh, to give you a little bit of extra freestyle. <laughs> and it is five mils um, thick there. So very nice arms. No, the really good uh, motor protection that you have out there. Um, on your freestyle builds, you often want to have some really nice powerful motors. I know that's what I'm going to do on mine. Now, keep in mind, this is the six inch version of the Bang God. So the five inch may be slightly different. Have your um, plates at three mils on the top and two mils, um, or actually two mils on the top, three mils on the bottom. This front cage is like 2.4 mils. And um, this kind of carries over slightly different design, but it is the 3D printed bulkhead that is going to kind of sit in there like this, or actually it's probably like this. And that's what allows you to mount this cage system on there. So it keeps your uh, one, it allows you to have kind of a different design geometry overall. And two, um, it also sort of acts as a soft mounting um, thing for your camera to keep all of that footage nice and smooth. So let's go ahead and get it built up and I'll bring the full build back. This is again is the six inch version which has thicker arms. This is gonna be really beefy. I've wanted to do some six inch on the channel. So this is the perfect opportunity to do so. And one thing that I really like about six inch frames is that you can easily run five inch props if you so desire. And by having the larger footprint, you will get a little bit of extra smoothness by having a little bit more distance from rear prop to front prop. Uh, speaking of things like size, the weight of this with uh, probably not all of the hardware um, is about 150-ish grams. So it's somewhere right around 150 grams uh, with most of the hardware. So well, it was 148, so about 150 should be right about right. Um, you have full 30 by 30 and 20 by 20 mounting holes in the center and in the rear. Now, one thing I really like about this is that a lot of freestyle frames will do two or three stack um, slots, but they'll be off center. Like the, the, the one that goes in the middle won't be in the center of the frame. And I don't know why that just bugs me. I really like that they have put this in the center to be able to have all of your motor wires the same length. Something about that, just I just prefer that. It's not really a big deal, but uh, now they have eliminated um, there are two versions of it. So one of the bulkheads does use some press nuts in here. This one just uses these machine screws, which then go into the bulkhead. Check out Catalyst Machine Works full build video if you want more details on how this thing goes together. I really like these dog bone um, standoff things. It's going to get rid of a lot of that arm slot. Now the arms are still uh, very much the same where you have a hole in the outer portion and a slot in the inner portion to make for some very quick arm changes. Now, here's one thing. The rear brace is optional. And depending on how you fly, you may want to make that a required. If you're a bando basher, if you're somebody that may be flying uh, and crashing a little bit more often, 
do not consider it optional, add the additional brace in the rear. And I think one of the reasons why they don't include it is for people like me that are more like light freestyle, you know, I like to get some nice smooth footage. I'm not really crashing that much. So I can save the couple of bucks and just choose to go without that rear brace. Um, and speaking of price point, Catalyst Machine Works for the Bang God has actually reduced the price by $20 across the board. Whereas the five inch version of the smooth operator was a hundred bucks. The five inch version of the Bang God is only $79.99. Uh, so everything shifts down by 20 bucks across the board, making the six inch 89.99. Uh, I'm really enjoying that new price point. I think it's gonna get a lot more people hip to Catalyst Machine Works and just what they're able to do. Yes, they are a racing frame manufacturer, uh, builder, shop, but what they do have is years of design in order to make the smoothest flying racing frames around and so how that translates to the freestyle side i think you'll be surprised to find out now there was a guy i can't remember his name he made a video recently about i can't remember what size bang god he had but you know he had an arm break an arm break can you believe that on a freestyle frame look at the thickness of these arms guys even on the six inch the six inch is thicker than the five inch but even this is think for a freestyle from now why is that because they want to keep the white weight down the performance high callus machine works uh, design philosophy across the board is performance and flight feel um kind of at the top where some of the other freestyle frame manufacturers might be flight feel and durability now what um callus machine works prioritizes on the durability scale is protection of your components, protection of your camera, protection of your center stack. I mean, this is essentially an armored cage at this point with all of these uh, dog bone standoffs. So your stack and your camera and your electronics will be completely safe. The arms are the one thing that is designed to be able to break in a, a crash like that. and. That's why they are made to be so easily replaceable. So I don't see that as a, um, as a huge negative personally. I have not broken an arm on my smooth operator. Um, I've had a couple of them. I haven't broken an arm on any of them. I've broken quite a few uh, America Raging Droner Slam Nasty arms. Why is that? In fact, a lot of them use the same arms. It's just because I don't fly that crazy freestyle where I'm going to be crashing quite a bit but racing you're always going to be hitting the gate at 70 80 90 100 miles an hour so things are going to break and they have designed them to break in a situation where it will keep your components safe and it is very easy to replace that arm and the cost is low to keep you up in the air that's what it's supposed to do guys okay <laughs> if you want something that's just never going to snap period just go buy a source one or something you know, it looks like a, <laughs> I mean, that's like the box man of, uh, of frames. You know, nothing wrong with it. Get the job done. But if you want something a little more stylish, a little more smooth. And uh, finally, they have made it um, quite easy on the builder. Now, when you are assembling the bulkhead, go ahead and pay attention to that build video. I did get mine on the wrong way at first and just had to swap around. It wasn't a big deal. It took like two extra minutes, but... Um, other notes are, I really appreciate the fact that there is two very dedicated spots for your straps, one in the middle, one at the rear. Uh, God, it's so spacious, but it's like not overly tall. Um, I don't know how they've managed to make something look very slammed and sleek and at the same time have so much space to accommodate, again, that DJI system, um, but that makes those of us that are still using analog systems um able to afford so much space in the middle so stay tuned guys can't wait to get this thing built up i'm going to be using several new components that i'm going to be reviewing on the channel very soon so this will be almost top to bottom all new build for everything around we're going to try some six inch props on this thing uh, maybe we're going to do some hd recording and the dji guys the dji guys in town 
uh, that we got f at least three or four of them. They are itching to get all of us flying on DJI. Had two of them out at the race this weekend and they were racing with us. No problem. And uh, yes, can't wait guys. What do you think in the comments? What kind of gigantic motors are you putting on your Banggod? Uh, what is your freestyle frame for 2020? It's going to be a tough call, but this one for me is definitely up in the mix. Golly, I'm already loving the simplicity of it um, with that same awesome looks that, that every Catalyst Machine Works release. Speaking of Catalyst Machine Works, they have recently opened up a new shop in Spring, Texas. I have went to go tour it. And I'm gonna have a video uh, coming out very soon to show you their new retail space. So I'll leave their address in the meantime if you wanna go check that out and stay tuned for a preview sneak peek tour of one of the latest hot spots of FPV design, build, and community that we have seen in a good while. Thanks, guys.